Enostron Sevia, the largest Gorgon opposite from the mod Additional Creatures Kami Creations. In this modded guide, we go over all the needed information. My name is Arkrector. If you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, and let's jump into it. Starting with the spawn locations, you can find them in Redwoods, the Sangu Forest on Extinction. Within deserts, you'll find the Scorched Enostron Sevia. The Tundra Biome on Gen 1 is where you can find the X variant, and you can find the R variant within the jungles and forests of the Eden Biome on Genesis 2. The number one taming food for them is Extraordinary Kibble. Your second best option is Raw Mutton and lastly Prime Meat. Inno is a passive tame, but a unique one at that. First of all, you have to be level 65. Then you must restrain one with either a Chain Bowler or a Net Projectile. Preferably the latter, cause it gives you more time. Once constrained, you must bring it down to 75% health. I would recommend using a simple pistol for that. It's easy to see the health with the Austin Spyglass mod or a magnifying glass. Once you think you dealt enough damage, hit it with a wooden club, which stuns the Inno for 5 solid minutes. Indicated by this yellow glow around their head, Hats, and once it's free from the net or bowler, you can passively feed it while it still has the stun debuff. Damage will not reduce its taming effectiveness, meaning you don't have to play too careful. Similar to normal passive tames, you must wait till you can feed it again. It's very likely to get unstunned, so simply hold your harpoon launch ready to fire again. And once it moves, do the same process again. Pin it to the ground, dealing a bit of damage if it healed up above 75% health. Hit it with a club, waiting for the net to be over, and wait until it's hungry again. It shows you better be prepared whenever you want to tame your very own lizard dog. Left click is a bite, inflicts rent, which slowly weakens the target's defense. Right click is a claw slash, allows the inno to harvest fiber, corpses, but also hand harvestable resources like pearls, etc. C for a headbutt with decent knockback. With a double bite on the X key, your inno inflicts bleed. S plus X is the thrashing bite, perfect for hitting everything behind you or on your flanks. Control is a raw for aesthetics. You can tell them to sit down via the option wheel. Innos can hold artifacts in their inventory primarily for their mindset abilities which are crafted with a single generic artifact. You can only have one mindset per inno. They are permanent but reset after a server restart, soul trap or after up and downloading. The Collector Mindset reduces the weight of all resources by 30% and grants a 35 times Harvest Multiplier towards Element Shards, Dust, Mutagel, Pearls and Gems. Do you want an Inno for traveling? Well, the Traveler Mindset might be something for you. It increases your overall speed by 25% but also reduces your attack and defense by 15%. Survivor Mindset grants you 25% resistance and increased healing for 15 seconds after you killed something. During this time frame, you'll be immune to stuns and electrocution. Maybe something stronger? How about the Frenzied Mindset? Increases your damage by 25% as long as your HP is higher than 75%. Also, every attack builds up a meter which when full procs a potent healing effect, regenerating 15 HP and 5 stamp per second. Using the Astute Mindset makes it easy to gain XP. Killing any creature above 550 drag weight runs you, your NO and nearby allies a 1.5 times XP multiplier for 5 minutes. If you kill an Alpha, the buff will last for 30 minutes and grants 2 times XP instead. However, if you manage to kill a boss, the effect will grant you with 4 times XP for 1 hour. And lastly, the Challenger Mindset. This one increases your damage dealt to bosses, mission dinos and alphas by 15%, as well as taking 15% less damage from those targets. Upon killing one, grants 5 HP per second regeneration and 2 times XP to yourself and your mounted inno for 2 minutes. And thus we reach the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did consider to like, subscribe, it really does help out. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.